Hey guys, it's Tyler from After The Run, and today I'm doing a little bit of an update, but also talking about resetting goals and expectations. Um, this year I started with the goal of losing like 40 pounds, and the year started out great. Um, I was at 275, and I lost 25 pounds in that first month, and then I plateaued and couldn't get off that plateau. And so I've been stuck at 250, 245, all year long and it was so frustrating because I've been exercising, I've been eating healthy for the most part and I just couldn't get off this plateau. So one thing I love to do with my goals is sometimes I'll, I, I have yearly goals of course and those are the big ones for the year, but I also try to have quarterly goals because I find if I have to, instead of waiting till December to review my goals for the year and do a last ditch effort, if I, every three months kind of check in and see what progress I'm making on those big goals. It's just a good chance to reset and to celebrate the accomplishments that I've made and also to recognize when things aren't going well. And October 1st, a few weeks ago, I checked in and I looked at my goals and my big goals for this year in health and exercise is lose 40 pounds and then uh, run a thousand miles and I updated my spreadsheet. I hadn't in several weeks, even a couple months. And so I, uh, I updated my spreadsheet and I, I saw that I'm way behind pace to hit a thousand miles. And of course I'm behind pace to lose those 40 pounds. And I was really frustrated with both of those things. And I thought, I just need to up my game. So for this last quarter, I mapped it out and Oh, there's a card. Let me pause this. Okay, so I was looking at my goals and I thought to hit the thousand goals, it's still doable. I just had to really be diligent and set a month to month goal. So I broke it up and I, if I did 110 miles each month, which I haven't done 100 miles in a month in quite a while since early in the year, but if I did 110 miles in a month, then I could reach my thousand mile goal. And by doing that increased exercise, I thought that's going to help with weight loss too. So I started October and one of the ways that I motivate myself to run more miles is I have like my PRs, which are my all time best runs. But I also like to have from year to year, I set goals for each mileage distance for one mile, for two miles, for three miles, for four miles, all the way up to 13 and then for a marathon. And I thought, if I tried in October, cause I hadn't hit any of my year best mileage markers in August or July or September, like that quarter three, I just hadn't done that at all. And so I thought if I can hit like one a week, try it to shoot for a different mileage marker to increase my pace, do some more speed workout, that's gonna help with my weight loss. And so I focused on the easiest ones to PR on were, or for your best is the distance one. So my Saturday runs. So on October 1st, it was a Saturday and I did 10 miles and I got my best 10 mile pace of the year. And then the next Saturday I did nine miles and got my year best pace. This last Saturday I did eight miles and got my year best pace. And then I noticed I was looking at my spreadsheet and I highlight all the different uh, year best paces on the monthly spreadsheet and I, I have like six so far this month so <laughs> I thought wouldn't it be cool to have one for like for all the distances under 10 miles and so to do that I needed to get six miles five miles four miles two miles and one mile and I'm here in the last week of the month and so today I did six miles and I did it in my fastest 10K pace of the year, which was super cool and way under pace, like almost a minute per mile faster than my previous best. So I'm definitely speeding up, even though I haven't lost a lot of weight um, in the last six months. But then tomorrow I'm gonna try to do five miles at my fastest pace and then four miles and then two miles and one mile to finish off the month. Um, and the cool thing is, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to do that. And instead of 110 miles this month, I'm gonna hit 125, which is super cool. 
I had hoped to lose three pounds this month, and it looks like I'm gonna be somewhere between three and five pounds lost. So simply by starting a new quarter with new goals, a chance to reset and you know resets are good that's why january new year's resolutions those are good having monday starting the new week that's good and a lot of people start the new month fresh but i love starting this new quarter with quarterly goals and i'm on pace to reach those goals so just wanted to kind of celebrate with you and talk about goal setting and you know if you're in the middle of a trial period and you're struggling it's okay to take a reset Start on Monday, start on November 1st, and just get back into it. And I, I'm sure that you'll see success just as I have. And we're gonna have failures too, but it's good to have a couple wins. All right, have a great day, bye-bye.